Here on Okinawa, amphibious carriers are landing on a beach to simulate a raid to take back an island. These are American vehicles rolling off a Japanese hovercraft. Japan and the U.S. expanding joint military drills to hone close coordination between forces. These drills happen fast. They're already heading back out to sea. And for the first time, the exercise called Iron Fist said to name China as the hypothetical enemy. Though the threat is real, says the U.S. ambassador to Japan, Rahm Emanuel. What is it that China is doing that is creating this potential for conflict? Well, they're in conflict with everybody. There is no country in the region they're not in some kind of small, very small K kinetic problem with an untethered, unanchored China is uh, destabilizing China. With Japan facing its gravest security threat in decades, spending billions on American stealth fighter jets and cruise missiles to defend against China, but also Russia and North Korea. A key part of Japan's strategy involves fortifying an island chain with missile systems and a new military base that U.S. aircraft would use too, creating a wall centered around Taiwan, limiting China's access to the Western Pacific. China's claims over most of the disputed South China Sea are causing friction, with close encounters involving Chinese ships and aircraft. The U.S. transforming its presence, too. We're the permanent Pacific power. You can bet long on America. For years, these drills were held in the U.S. and last year moved here as deterrence and a message that Japan is readying to fight. Janice Mackey for your NBC News, Okinawa. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.